Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use quizzes in Shopify to generate leads and make more sales. We'll jump right into it. And this is exactly how to do it the right way when it comes to using quizzes in your Shopify store to build your brand, to make more sales, to engage with your customers, and really most importantly, to generate leads. Because every single Shopify store needs to constantly find new customers. And using quizzes is a really cool and engaging way to generate leads. And a really popular strategy right now is to integrate quizzes into your Shopify store with the Quizelle Shopify app. It's gonna allow you to collect leads, collect lead information like email address and capture all that stuff into your database, promote your top selling products, engage with your customers. It's a really, really cool strategy right now. I'm gonna show you over the shoulder exactly how to do it. And if you wanna implement quizzes inside of your Shopify store, you might run into some pain points. First of all, there's no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You're gonna to need to use an app. And I'm gonna show you the exact app that makes this very easy. And the app that you wanna pick needs to be super easy to use and require no prior technological skill. You don't need to be some type of developer or coder in order to get quizzes in your store pretty much immediately. And uh, really, you wanna find an app that's gonna allow you to customize everything via a no-code drag and drop design editor. Again, you don't wanna to have to hire a designer or a coder or anything like that. You wanna install the app, customize it, and get it going. And that's why I'm gonna show you Quizelle. It's what I use, it's what I highly recommend. You see the link directly below this video. We're gonna go over the shoulder. I'll show you more about the Quizelle app and I'll uh, install it in my store. You'll be able to follow along and see exactly how to set this up. And uh, right over here, this is the Quizelle AI Quiz and Form Builder. First thing to pay attention to, a massive 4.9 out of 5 star review over here on this uh, app. Really, really huge review score because it does exactly what I was describing. It is the ultimate product quiz builder for e-commerce, for Shopify. It's a great way to capture leads and I'm going to show you uh, everything over the shoulder. And it's really cool because it's got this drag and drop editor that's going to allow you to customize everything with ease. You won't need to change any code or anything like that. You'll literally just be able to point and click and drag things around. And again, I'll show you as we go inside the app. Really cool because it integrates with all of your favorite apps. For example, Klaviyo or MailChimp, right? You want to go ahead and send your lead information over like to Yachtpo, right? Getting all the lead information from the quizzes, getting them uh, seamlessly integrated into your email list and your customer database. Very powerful way to help grow your brand. Lots of insights in there as well. You're going to see all your analytics and stuff like that. You'll see your quiz statistics as well. And uh, you can build quizzes in seconds. Very powerful because it leverages AI, you'll see again, as we build these out. Really, really cool, really easy to use. So you see the link directly below this video. You're going to be able to do global engagement as well with uh, different translation and all that stuff. But like I said, really great integrations. You see the link directly below this video. All you need to do is press the install button on this page, see the black install button. We'll go over the shoulder and then we'll set up a quiz together. Okay, now we're inside of the Quizzle app. And again, you see the link directly below this video. You click on that, you click install and you'll be able to be brought right inside here in your Shopify store. I have my Shopify store already connected. That happens automatically when you install the app. And now we're ready to create our first quiz. So when we click this button over here, we're gonna create our first quiz. We'll see that we have different uh, options in terms of how we wanna create our quiz creating with AI, we could import questions, or we could start with templates. I like starting with templates over here because there's a lot of pre-made templates here that look really good that we'll be able to customize and we could sort through here in terms of different niches or different industries. We could search through different templates. We can come over here and you'll literally be able to preview them, of course. We just come right over here and click something like the uh, perfect skin quiz. We could preview it. And we'll be able to customize everything. Important to note, it's gonna look really good on mobile as well. So we'll be able to go through here and uh, literally it's going to be a quiz that looks like this. It's really all about kind of getting information from our customer and then showcasing product information while collecting lead information all at the same time. Really powerful here. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of click through here. We'll be able to customize all this. And then you see at the end, entering in your information over here to go ahead and actually finish the quiz. We'll go over here and finish the quiz and we're gonna go over here and then they'll showcase a product. Of course, this is just a demo. We'll set up our products. So at the end of the quiz, we'll be able to showcase, you know, whatever we want, or maybe our most important product or a new release or what I like to do, our highest margin product, right? So we can make a little bit more money. 
So a lot of different things over here. Maybe your niche is well represented in, uh, inside here, like print on demand or apparel, right? We could do outfit recommender. That's a really easy to do, uh, easy thing to do. If you have a more of a physical product or a, you know kind of a specific product, pillow quiz or sofa quiz, nice one to start with. Of course, you can customize all of this based on your own products. We're going to start by customizing this right here, the gift finder qu uh, quiz, and I'll just call this gift finder example. And now what we're going to be brought into is the uh, really cool drag and drop editor. And this makes customizing literally every single screen right here. You see the entire survey being walked through the entire quiz all over here in terms of all the different fields and all the different options and all of the things that we're going to collect fully customizable. You could even add HTML if you want to add some code snippets in here. Really, really cool. You could even add scripts like tracking codes. So everything built in. And we have three uh, uh, options over here, design, Obviously, we're going to be able to go through here and configure different things, even the fonts, right? Say we come over here and say, uh, find the perfect T-shirt. Okay, we focus on T-shirts. We'll do a T-shirt quiz over here. Say, you know, I don't like that font. Okay, let's change it to this one, right? Or I don't like that one. Let's change it to there. You have full control over everything in here. The idea is that we want to kind of match our brand. We want to have the look and feel of our brand over here. I have a red, uh, red and blue brand over here, so I'm going to go and integrate my color scheme over there. We see that we have things like buttons, right? I'm going to change this button color so it matches my color scheme. I'll go with the blue. So find the perfect uh, t-shirt, choose an image, right? Go over here and we can go ahead and find uh, unsplash images, which is really cool. These are all free uh, stock imagery over here. So I can go and do something like t-shirt or t-shirt so we can see what comes up over here and I can select that as my um, kind of base image. We could change the alignment if we wanted to go on the left or right. We can make it even background, which is kind of cool. Really just depends on how you want it to look. We have width as well in terms of how big the image should be. We could flip the image. We could do all these different things that we want when it comes to designing. And the real cool thing about this is that each slide is customizable. Let's say you wanted to completely change an image or you want to add a new side image or you want to add a timer, right? We have the ability to just simply click on here and add a timer. Right, it's going to have the settings all over here in terms of what the labels are going to be, right? What the end action, what's going to happen when the uh, when the timer goes to zero. All right, we can display text. We can go to the next page, etc. So really, really cool. You don't like the timer? No problem. You just delete it. All right, that's the whole idea of this editor here. We're able to kind of change everything. So I'm going to go through here, and you know, we see our uh, bar over here. We see our text over here. Maybe we, again, we want to go ahead and implement our color scheme. So I'll come over here and do that. Right, we have the design elements over here. Not a big fan of orange for my site. So I'll go with uh, blue for my arrows here. And I'll do that over here. So we're customizing everything. Look and feel. Text as well. Right, We're going to make it all look good. Come over here again. Get my color scheme going in here. So we're really looking like a match. Here's our results page. And... This will be uh, products that get configured. This is really cool because we have the ability to do product match. And I'll show you this more, but we could show multiple products over here. We can group products. We could have just a single product in here, but product match is going to be something I'll show you as we uh, finish customizing this. We have configuration as well in terms of all the different installed configurations, obviously Shopify installed here, but we could do things like marketing automations or review automations. Really just depends on the automations that we want to select. We'll be able to do that inside of here. Pretty much every big name that you could imagine is in here. Clavio, you know, Shopify Active Campaign. You got your Facebook Pixel in here, so you can install all that. Convert Kit. So all the different ways to get all this lead information off into your marketing as well, fully integrated. You'll you'll find all of your customers right inside here. So even if you uh, integrate, let's say, with Clavio, you'll still have your customer list over here. You'll be able to see exactly what's going on as people fill out the surveys. They'll be shown right inside here. Email flow is really cool. You can create your own email flows as well. For example, a welcome series or a product recommendation email flow. And you see what's going to happen over here. There's going to be an email and a delay time and all that stuff, kind of like your um, built-in autoresponders might have. If you're using something like Clavio, right, the campaigns, right, same type of feature is what we're going to have right here in these flows. So really cool. We can create lots of different flows over here. Coupon is ready is a really powerful one as well to uh, really get people to take action and come and purchase. But you're going to be spending really all of your time over here in the quizzes section. 
where you're going to be customizing and creating new quizzes and having everything kind of set up the way that you want, integrated the way that you want, having the different jump logics in terms of getting really specific to how you want this to be set. But we want to talk about product match because there's two big things about doing this process with Quizel. <clears throat> Number one, of course, we want to collect information. We want to build our email list. We want to build our audience, right? But let's, let's talk about money, right? Let's talk about sales. At the end or at the result of, really what we want to feel like the result of the quiz for the customer is going to be a great product recommendation. And in order to do that, we're going to do product match. Okay, so this is really cool. We're going to do product match. Literally, it's exactly how it sounds. You're going to match up answers or uh, kind of groups of answers with products. And this doesn't need to be extreme. You don't need to go through 10,000 products if you have a big store. This is about curating products that you want. Okay, so you'll notice at first, you're not going to have any products in here. So we'll want to come over and import all products. This is going to automatically pull our products from Shopify into Quizzell. This is just a one-time step, right? We're going to have all of our different products over here. And these are products that come directly from my store, right? These are all products right inside my store, t-shirts and, you know, uh, dog car seat covers, and all of the different stuff that we sell. Okay, so we have this over here, and you can turn on product score as well. This is kind of uh, getting uh, things, or using their kind of algorithm to understand a little bit more about what products might match. But we have the ability now to say, okay, we have these different questions that are coming over here. What products do we want to assign to these different groups? And, you know, you'll see that as people fill in different, you know, combinations, of question one, two, and three, they'll get different product recommendations. But to keep things simple, right, I'm gonna think of myself as, you know, what do I want the customer to do? I don't need to show them a thousand products. I might wanna focus on the products that I know work the best. So I'm gonna come over here, I know Cars is one of our top selling products. Permissile is one of our top selling products. Ejectocito is our number one top selling product. And Skywa, oh no, I'm sorry, Birds in the Air is our other top product. So we're selecting these over here, and we're going to be able to go and add in terms of what we think is the most important to our, um, or in our opinion, the hierarchy of what products are most important. So we have something like that. Okay, and we're going to do that for each grouping here. Okay, so you could think about it as different answers create different combinations of products. So if they answer over here, question one, they answer family member. These are the four products that, we, that they could see. Right? It's going to depend on other, other factors, other answers as well. But we're going to come over here, and you see that we're sorting by products, but we could also sort by collections. Right? You could do whichever one you want. It would uh, be basically the same for the entire setup here. So we could do collections. I'm going to still do individual products because I really, like I said, I want to focus on the products that make us the most money. So I'm going to come over here, and we got our Ejectocito, and then we got our Birds in the Air. And I'll do this for missile. And I'll do our I know cars, and then what else? We have our Ejectocito, and then the birds in the air, and then one more grouping over here. Fermisil, I know cars, right? You get the point here. We're assigning the products that we want, right? Don't don't get too uh, crazy about this. Really, the, the number one thing to focus on is that we want to give good answers that are going to lead into sales. So if you know what products sell the best, right, that's where we want to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just to kind of make this go a little bit quicker, I'm going to go in here. But you would go through here and assign each product or each answer to a specific set of products. And like I said, I'm focusing on the products that are the most important to me. Okay, the most important to me, aka they make me the most money. So that's, you know, that's really the uh, the name of the game here. So you're going to fill it out for all the different combinations. It's only a one-time thing, right? When you set up the uh, the quiz, you'll do this over here. So we'll save changes. It can be a lot quicker if you just go by collections, but I like having that individual control. You can look at translation as well. If you're uh, scaling to an international audience, you might want to go ahead and do this. You could translate to a different, uh, uh, different language. Scored quizzes over here. So this could be basically different points. Um, you know, I don't really uh, typically use this, but this gives you the ability to give points for different answers, right? And uh, this can kind of help quantify or give a certain score at the end of it. We have the ability to different show, uh, show different loaders. You could even add a custom loader if you have some type of GIF or something. Again, color scheme, right? Full customization over here. I'm going to go with my red color scheme. So I've got red, and I like the double bounce over here. Check my uh, UTM tags as well. So this is really just about tracking, right? You know how to use UTM tags if you're doing things like Google Analytics or tracking your ads. You'll be able to use UTM tags as normal. 
with this over here. I'm going to save changes over here. We got our notifications. Notifications will be sent to this email address basically just to let you know if someone filled out the quiz. Because you can get notified on there. We have our Shopify integration. Again, you'll want to go and uh, set up your integrations for things like, let's say, you use Clavio to get the emails automatically sent over. But otherwise, it's very easy to configure this. It's really the biggest thing is just product match. We want to have those products showcased at the end. Right. And, you know, product matches, like, like I said, 50% of why this is so good. We want to showcase products at the end. We want to, of course, collect information. But we want to maximize the chance over here when they're done to click on and buy the products. All right. Click on buy the products. It's, you know, that's the name of the game here. We're going to get all of our uh, settings in here as well. You see the ability to change things over here. You can even show the product description if you want. We have it hidden over here. You can hide the price. All these different ways to uh, showcase things and button settings, of course, coming back down here to, again, implement my color scheme. So saving all of that looks pretty good so far. We've got our design set up. Uh, we can take a look at our thank you page options over here where we have the result. Again, this is what we want to do. We could edit products. We could add HTML. We could even add other things like a coupon, right? We can just click on a coupon and literally bring it right in over here. So we have our coupon over here. And uh, if we didn't want to have a coupon, just, uh, of course, delete it. It's just something that we could add in there. They could even restart the quiz. I'm going to go through and, as you saw, just change my color scheme. So we've got that over here. We've got our configuration set up over here. We've now going to our share page. And there's a couple different ways to do it. Of course, if we're doing paid ads, really the easiest way, or if we're doing email marketing or something like that, right? We could just send them directly with a direct link. You could also embed. I'm going to show you how to do this. So each quiz is going to have a quiz ID. We'll copy this because we're going to use this in a second. What we want to do is come into our Shopify store. And I'm going to show you, uh, we'll come over here to your theme editor. And you just click customize. Okay, this is your theme editor. You're familiar with this in your Shopify store. You'll come to app embeds. And we have different sections over here that we can go ahead and enable. For example, the banner button or the link quiz, right? These are ways to enable here. I'm going to show you also the section way, right? Come over here. Let's say we want to add our quiz right on the home page. So we can come over here. And we have this section right over here, add section, right? Come over here, add section. We look at apps. We have Quizelle. We're going to have our Quizelle app added right over here. And it's going to ask for quiz ID. We just simply paste in the quiz ID. There you go. Save that. All right. Literally, that's simple. I'll go into the site right now and I'll show you on the home page. Now that we've enabled our quiz, see some of our popular products over there. And here you go. So our exact quiz, let's run through it just like we saw before, looking for a gift for a family member, right? Uh, night out, renting a good novel, budget of 10 to $25, okay, take me to the results, but first let me get my email added into it, take me to my results over here. What are we going to showcase now as the results? Well, wow, the two most popular products in the store are shown first, you know, and of course I set this up here, right? We were able to showcase this in terms of the uh, products that we want it to be shown. Now, if I come back over here to analytics, we'll see the uh, information over here that was just set up over here as I filled out that survey. We'll see the uh, all the kind of information over here. We'll see product information as well in terms of what they've been recommended. And we'll see my email now added over here under the customer's list. If we did any integrations like Clavio, it would also be sent off right to Clavio. So that was Quizelle, incredibly powerful, but also as you saw, incredibly easy to use. Use that drag and drop editor, build out the perfect quiz, collect all the information that you want and really capture the attention of your customers. Highly recommended. Again, you see the link directly below this video. Hope this helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.